Am I enjoying it? I, 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 I like it. I do like it. Um, right now it's about like an 8 out of 10 for me. I'm not absolutely in love with it. I think I like the characters, uh, the bad guys and those characters even more. Going through the castle was quite nice too, right? Like finding items and going back and solving puzzles and stuff like that. It was fun. Uh, where the hell? Huh. There's wells here. So much Resident Evil 4 vibes. The the Resi 4 vibes, to be honest, are just in sort of presentation elements. Um, the attache case, the village, uh, the duke. All those things are very much Resi 4, but everything else in terms of gameplay, this is RE7, right? This is 100% RE7. You're shooting at faster enemies. Like, it's RE7 with faster enemies. It's just surface level, yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, is that easy? Hey there. Is Returnal better? Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to, to say that because this game might become absolutely fucking amazing like halfway through. It's going to be hard. I, I honestly think it's going to be hard for this game to be better than Returnal for me. Returnal's so fucking good. They're very different games. Yeah, I can't really judge it till I beat it. I just want this game to be better than RE7, you know? Does Ethan control better or worse than he does in RE7? No difference. None. He's like the same. He's like the same. He's still slow and lumbering. Yeah, the better comparison is RE7 versus RE8. I guess we're going into the ruins now. Uh, I think the, I mean, I don't know about the aiming. Okay. Okay. That's a big slab of fish meat. Okay. Yeah, I like it so far. I like it so far. Um, Hear our voice together as one in reverence. We call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make the sacrifice and await the light. I kick this fucking door down. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. Hey, remember me? I almost died up at that castle. Tell me what is going on around here. How can a man be almost dead? That's a question for the wise. You know what I mean. And I still haven't found Rose. Where did Mother Miranda take her? <laughs> You're too late. Or maybe almost too late. The child will be sacrificed. Life for life. What kind of sick medieval shit is this? She's just a baby. The crests of the four bloodlines may open the path you see. Will you please stop talking in riddles? I just want to find my daughter. It's only a riddle if you don't know the answer. <laughs> you dumb bitch! 
<laughs> yeah, you see the umbrella thing? Wait a second. That looks familiar. It's Mario Brothers. Hey, hey, wait. Mushroom Kingdom is back. Pissed. Mario Brothers. Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister Dot. I'll believe it. That goes in there. Is that all that was? Is that all that's used for? Okay, I better be able to use it on something else. Big door, big heavy door. Gonna fight an El Gigante out here? Is this? Get the fuck down! Get the fuck down here! Get the fuck down here! Yeah, fucking birds. Pattern looks really familiar. Yeah. No, it doesn't to me at all. It doesn't look familiar at all. Nothing familiar about it. Aha! Box land. <laughs> well, I can make more pistol shots, but I have, um, solid 82. Uh, lichens? Yeah, no, I had to fight lichens with no shotgun. Is that an explosive barrel? Stop that. Nice squishy head pop. Okay, that was fun. I stab you, goat. Stabbeth the goat. Boat? This really is re for in many ways. Big crank. Need big crank.
that key is gonna go in here. None of the keys that I have. Magnum's gonna be in there or some shit. I was thinking the lockpick, but no, it doesn't give me the option for the lockpick. Try shooting it. Ah! He tripped. That? Well, I guess I've discovered everything in here. Clumsy ass lichen. They all put all these banana peels all over the place. Big boy. There you are. I had a feeling you would pop up here. It was all worthless. Is that so? I assume you've picked up something of value. Not sure if it's a value, but... Why, you have your daughter right in your own hands. What are you saying? Take a closer look. That flask seems to contain her head. No. What? Roses. Don't say another word. This. This is impossible. This just can't be. Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. Oh. Who could even do this? She can be saved, you know. Saved? From this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Go and seek out the man who lives there. Then we can continue our conversation. Quit holding out and get to the damn point. You don't have to trust my words. But do you have any better options? Your choice. The customer is always right. After all. Oh, it says no Eve on it. If I find out this is a lie. <laughs> Fuck Joker. Well then, feel free to peruse. You have new stuff, finally. Finally have new stuff. Customizable part of sniper rifle reduces weapon sway. Right, right. A pipe bomb. Ability to craft pipe bomb. Fade. A bigger box. I if I need any. Not right now. Do you have enough firepower? I can now offer an expanded weapon modification service. Wow. Wait a minute. I wonder if I could cook the fish or something. Huh. Huh. I can actually cook the fish. Oh, Lady Dimitrescu. Beautiful even in death. That waistline. Yes. Wow, Capcom. Wow. To hunger. Used to be alive. 
Damn, things are expensive to fuck. I see. Anything else? I mean, I, I guess I'll just buy the rifle sway. Increases the scope's range. To me, the rifle sway is more valuable than better scope. You'll be slaughtering things. Zindro. Good I have, day, then. I'm gonna buy another healing. Oh yes. Good day then. Okay. A four winged beam. Uh, same thing on that one. Okay, cool. Cool. Let's, uh, Take a quick break. Isn't it too bright? We're outside. We are, we're, we're, what do you mean it's too bright? We're outside. We can go into a dark area, right? Let's go into a dark area and see what it's like in a darker area. Okay, is that better? Right? Like this is, this looks great to me. Higher than 95 FOV makes the monsters feel further away from you? I, I, I think we're okay. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, to me, this just looks way better. Maybe it's just me. I'm, my eyes don't hurt anymore, right? I'm not, like, straining to, to look at things. Maybe it's just me. But I think it looks... I think it looks better. Um, hang on a second. I'm gonna drop the FOV five points, chat. I was thinking about it. This looks great. This looks great. This is perfect. This is literally perfect. I was thinking about it. Um, because a lot of people when they're playing the game on hardcore were having the same issue. Like everyone was reporting, like, dude, I've been trying to do this opening uh holdout sequence in the village for like two hours. What the hell am I supposed to do? And it's kind of random whether or not you're gonna fall into it. Some people will just fall into it, some people won't. Um, it would have been so much easier if the phone call you get is like, you know, at the beginning that is like, hey, meet us at Louisa's house. How much better would it have been if the call that you receive, oh, I'm sorry, the radio signal that you receive right before you go outside would have told you, we're going to meet at Louisa's house. Uh, the horde is coming. Do whatever you can to stay alive. At that point, that's like an inclination. Oh, I don't have to murder every single thing, right? I just have to survive as long as possible. Because without it, it's like every single fucking person, like almost, almost every single person did the exact same shit I did. Everyone moves the zombies uh, through a house, picks up the stuff in the house, goes down and around, eventually tries to lure all of the lichens, sorry, to an explosive barrel, and then tries to blow up some lichens with an explosive barrel. And then does the same thing for the other one, right? It's like, the explosive barrels feel like that's what they're trying to lure you towards. That's what almost everybody does. Because it seems like it should... It seems like that's what they want you to do. And then that doesn't happen, and then all of the rest of them show up and, Oh god, okay, now I'm in a corner. Fuck. And then you keep going over it like, okay, so maybe I just gotta do this better. This game plan. You know? It's just confusing, right? It's just a confusing... Opening. And I'm not saying that... I'm not saying that they should tell you exactly what to do. But if the radio just said, the horde's coming back. Uh, do whatever you can to survive. Cool! I can still kill things and survive, right? But there's like an idea that, oh, okay, we just gotta... We just gotta make it through this. It seemed like we had to kill a bunch. 
seemed like we had to, uh, had to, had, had to actually murder a whole bunch of them or something to trigger the next sequence to go forward. It was weird. Resident Evil 4 didn't do that and everyone got it. Right. What I'm trying to say is that Resident Evil 4's... But Leon is a super soldier. Like, it's a bit different. You know? Leon is clearly designed to shoot the fuck out of everything. Leon is designed to kick monsters and knife them and blow their heads off and jump up and jump down and do all this nutty shit. Like, yeah, the RE4 has professional mode and suplex motherfuckers and shit. It's a, it's a very different kind of situation. But it's, it's just an interesting conversation because they are essentially identical openings. Um, and RE Village is doing the exact same thing as Resident Evil 4 did, but it's much more effective in Resident Evil 4 because what's RE4 setting you up to do? Setting you up to shoot guys and then you have to shoot guys and you have to start fighting dudes and, and also survive. In this one, Ethan's like, eh. like he, he doesn't have much he can do at all. So I think that's where so many people, at least on hardcore, are finding the opening kind of like confounding because it's like, how the fuck do I trigger this? And even though like actually triggering it is super weird, like you eventually have to get hit for it to get triggered. It's so weird. I don't think it was bad. I think it's probably better on on normal. You spend so much ammo. Yeah. You're like, man, did I not have to shoot anybody? Could I just have run these zombies in circles and shit? And that would have been it. Um, either way, the opening is a bit weird. Uh, but I really like the game. I thought, I thought Castle Dimitrescu was great. I thought Lady D was pretty scary because Lady D essentially acting as a Mr. X uh, slash nemesis is really good. Only disappointed that it didn't last very long. Right? That was kind of the weird part, is that... I wish there was more of the... I wish there was more of that. Oh, I, I kind of, like, felt like it just woof, flew by. And it was like, shit, that was really cool. All, like, the blood wine cellars and all that stuff. It felt great. And then it was like, no, we're moving on. It's like, oh, man. Kind of, I kind of liked it. Yeah, Lady D didn't... Lady D felt, um... Weird. Like, sometimes she'd pincer you, pince you in a corner, other times she was really easy to dodge. That's weird. Main difference I noticed is many enemies seem to have passive, like, armor on hardcore. Yes! Dude, I watched... Um... I watched people playing this game on normal earlier today. And almost every time you would shoot a lichen, they would... Ugh, they would flinch. Ugh, ugh, they would just flinch. And I'm like, what the fuck is this, dude? These guys are, like, running at me on hardcore, and these motherfuckers have three plates full of body armor and shit. And it takes three headshots to get him to, like, flinch again. What the fuck? The only way to make him flinch is to, like, guarantee you get a shotgun or something like that. Yeah, they're super reactive to bullets. I think, I think the game might just be more fun on normal. But the, here's the problem. Everyone says the same thing. Normal is super easy. Game's way too easy. There's like barely any challenge on normal. Weird. It feels like there's... It, there should be a difficult between hardcore and normal. Because some of the stuff in hardcore just feels cheap. And... A lot of it feels about right. But some of it feels cheap. It's like... It's kind of cheap. Kind of weird. Uh, I still have fish. You wish to make a purchase? Did I? I only have 480 bucks. I think we bought everything we need to. Yeah. Food is life. Thank you for your patronage. Yeah, I kind of, I mean, I, I, I really, I didn't really mind many of the deaths. I thought it was kind of great when Lady D was trapping you, if not most of the, uh, the Demetresque area. Um, deaths? I kind of liked those. It was only sometimes that it, like, felt weird. Like, for example, suddenly, uh, Lady D's boss fight is way too easy! Like, what the hell? How the hell is Lady D's boss fight so easy? It was very weird, right? It's very weird. 80's jacket! Thank you for the 10 gift subs, dude. Difficulty is a funny thing, chat. Like, 
obviously if something comes across as like difficult but cheap doesn't feel good in fact i hate it when games feel cheap if something is difficult but satisfyingly difficult where it's like oh i see what i need to do it's just that i have to execute or discover the things that i need to do uh that's probably the best way to have difficulty like fair fair fear fear i guess so yeah dark souls is like the greatest example the greatest example of just you just don't know what to do yet and then when you figure out what to do you'll be good or you figure out how to dodge that you'll be good examples of cheap difficulty things just doing a shit ton of damage things just like well, how how difficult is this boom you're just gonna get smacked and you're dead it's like what that's just artificial right Returnal has a fantastic difficulty curve. I'll slightly disagree because I think some bosses in Returnal early on are harder than later ones. I think some regular enemies in Returnal are way harder than the bosses. Like I'll, I'll, I'll definitely disagree a little bit on that. Because I definitely felt that. I felt like Returnal was like, this is kind of easy. Like, weird, weirdly kind of easy compared to what I just went through, you know? Anyway, here we go. Uh, he told me to go to the chimney house to talk about my daughter. And, uh, we get to revisit this area. How's everything looking on your guys' end? <clears throat> New FOV, less vignette, all that kind of stuff looking great to you? Looking really good? Looks a lot better. I'd imagine so. We made some big adjustments to the game since the last time we played. And uh, I think it looks substantially better. Quick audio check. Uh... Bump it a little bit. Yeah, we had an audio problem yesterday. I have to like, I had to cut most of um, that stuff out of the YouTube video. Jesus. Because um, the audio was all over the place on. Oh, I can do this now. On that, on that opening village fight. <gasps> it was all over the place. Okay, that's cool. I can use those. Now the opening village fight, it was way too loud. It was way too loud. Then we found a decent balance. I think I'll find a better balance today. Is ray tracing messed up on PS5? Most likely not. This seems to be just an isolated PC issue. But do not use ray tracing currently on the PC version. It uh, has a memory leak. Is what uh, the few reports I've been hearing. Gotcha, you, you son of a bitch. Tell me I can get that. Tell me I can get that. N n Hell yeah. Give me that money. Uh, okay, so there were some doors in here that could actually be open. I think it was this one up here. Yo, QB Black, Joey Bagudanuts, uh, Gear Warbin, thanks for the gift sub, Rockman, Hermit King, uh, Derekule, Bash the Dash, Saber Vulcan, Chicod, Pakalika, Holo DeWise, Ryan Fernando, 80s Jacket, Stooley, Fried McLo McLovin, Queen Solarios, Ace Right Real Mothman, and uh, Crack Kane, Mad Yanome, Aegis Wolf, and Figgly Puffs. Thank you, dudes, very much. Hey, we can get in here now. No, we can't! We go bad honey thanks for the 10 gift subs man holy shit i hear chickens oh shit can i scare a chicken
Okay. So I can't scare the chickens. You can't scare them into laying eggs. But... Nice. Give these to the Duke? Shit. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I was like, what is this thing, a boot? Sorry, I killed the cheek. It's nice to have. That's not nice. What the hell? So we got a locked door in here. Uh, freshly picked flowers. It had a death animation. It had a dramatic, like, chicken. <gasps> oh, bagok. Bagok. <laughs> this chicken's like, Lord Sadler. <laughs> Dude, they're not in here. They're not in here, man. I get that, but that sucks. Couldn't even unlock this door. Maybe I had to unlock this door from the other way. Piece of shit. Oh, these are the bat shits. Hmm. I'd almost prefer to fight these guys. Wait a minute. There's something undiscovered in here? What? What is undiscovered in here? The flower? A tiny gemerald? Usually it's gonna boil down to being a crystal or some shit, right? I don't think the flower sacks count. I don't think so. Huh. Nothing behind this door. Oh! Well, that just popped up suddenly, and we're done. Weird. Okay. Sorry. Did you just eat a bird? Ugly. All right, where the hell should we go? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You see that? Rip Hooken! Sorry! Oh, this is open now? Oh, shit. Teddy bear? Is that a sellable? Valuable! It is! Huh. Oh, weird. Okay. 
creepy. Yeah, it was literally just a stash house. Uh, so that's still locked. I think I can get this. Yeah. I just gotta find out how to get around there. Was this open before? Holy shit. What? Look at these environments, man. I heard a scream from the house with the chimney. I was going to take a look, but the way was blocked by debris. Gonna have to take the long way around. Who would have thought the hole in the stable walls would come in handy? If I'm not back by morning, you should go to Louise's house alone. Uh? I'm going to read everything in a cheery, fatherly voice. It completely changed the mood. Howdy, neighbor. All right, Ethan, let's let's bust it out. Come on, use all those skills. I don't understand what I'm looking at. Some fluffy shit. That was loud. Oh, we're on the other side of the fence. <clears throat> that was our Dark Souls moment. Crazy a hole. There was a dude in here. Close that. I'm just gonna close this. Wait, what? <laughs> You're right. He's Goro. What the hell? <laughs> Somebody said he's four arms? He does have four arms. No, I get it. Okay, so here's what makes sense. Someone needs to draw this, right? Someone, no, no, no. Somebody needs to draw this. He currently is holding the shotgun like this with it pressed against his shoulder. Here's how this makes sense. His other arm just hanging at its side. He doesn't like using that arm. So what he's doing is that he's got the shotgun just pressed up against his shoulder. When he switches to the pistol... 
he drops the shotgun, lifts up the hand, and then grabs the pistol. Right? 100%. This shotgun, he's, he's one-arming it. He's 100% one-arming the shotgun. How he shoots the shotgun? Witchcraft. 100% there's witchcraft. He, there's no way he's able to shoot this gun. Reliably. He uses uh, brain power to shoot this gun. He does have four arms. Holy shit. He uses his dick. His extremely sharp nipples. That's funny. Wow. You can't even see the right hand on the shoddy. Yeah. He's holding it against... He uses his tongue. He's like... And he'll blast him. Get him. And then when he switches to the pistol... Pulls up, grabs the pistol, comes out, drops the shotgun, pistol comes into view, hand on the bottom of the pistol. Figured it out. You idiots, he doesn't have four arms, you just don't have huge enough brains. Idiots. <gasps> okay, before we pick that up and trigger probably an entire horde of assholes. Everyone's got this loom lady. Pictures of the loom lady? Okay, well, there's nothing else for me to see. Are we back to the opening area? We are. The Tiny Toons. Uh, I'm sorry, the Animaniacs. Damn, sacrilegious 90s cartoon shit. I just called the Tiny Toons uh, the Animaniacs. I mean, the Animaniacs, the Tiny Toons. You know what? I'll shut up now. Shit. Need like a wench? Damn it. Maybe I didn't have the knife the last time I was up here. Space bucks. What? Looking for a combination of numbers somewhere. Six digits. It's not a window? Oh! Seven... Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fuck you, game. Ha <laughs> Can't even be mad. Can't even. Can't even be mad. Watch it happen again. <laughs> seven, four, eight, or four, eight. No, it's definitely seven, oh, seven, oh, four, oh, eight. All right, game. All right. That was really. Oh, but I just upgraded this piece of shit.
So wait a minute. M1911. Power starts off at 160. One forty plus thirty. Mine is just better, dude. Right? Mine's just like better. Oh, it's automatic. A comfortable, fully automatic handgun. Hold down the trigger to fire a continuous string of bullets. That just seems like that just seems like you'd waste more ammo. It's an angry pistol. Damn, I gotta give it to him. That was a good jump scare. That was a legit good jump scare. Oh, fuck you. Shitting me? Tipped off the whole town? What? A little bit of panic. I need to worry. What can we make? Damn, whole lot of everything. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want to get the item for the wells. Is this what this is for? Well, I don't trust this area, dude. I don't trust this place. Ten foot pole. Guess not. Oh, it's 30 on your already calculated into 140, so it's actually 100 plus 30. Does that make sense? Why is there chem fluid here? Try the new gun. Sorry. Oh, we can go unlock this or not. Oh, Jesus, sweet Jesus. Uh-oh.
gonna reload 18 times just to be sure. Bang, bang, bang. The hell with you. That is some range on you, boy. Fucking Wolverine over here. The shit <gasps> This guy uh took four sniper shots, uh a pipe bomb, multiple shotgun shells, almost every single one of my bullets. What? Sponge man. Impressive. Most impressive. Anything up here? No. Yo, Finrim. Thank you very much for the uh, tier 1 and 10 gift subs. Holy shit. Okay. Shifty bitch. Nice. This I'll take. Alright, so we're just gonna have to throw two pipe bombs at this guy. Maybe the first pipe bomb will disable his armor? Hey buddy, how's it going? Whoa! Woo -hoo 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 oh man, he pissed now. And then he one-shots you? All right. Okay. All right. Okay. This is a boss fight. Okay. ASD funny. Thanks for the 10 gift subs, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, don't get hit by that. Uh, that that big charge up, there's a reason why it's got a lot of wind up.
Okay, so I saved my sniper rounds, right? Um, I saved my sniper rounds. This guy gets close, he gonna kill me. I'm debating using a second pipe bomb on his ass. Ain't got no more. I ain't got no more than dang old uh, landmines. I might just double pipe bomb this shithead, right? It feels like, man, maybe I can pipe bomb him and use a couple more shots and that'll be about it. Nah. That'll never not be funny. Thank God. Holy sweet Jesus, dude. This man should be liquid. Those guys are no joke. Holy crap, man. It's gonna take you approximately like 30 headshots to put this guy down. 30 headshots. So can you fight two at the same time? I don't know. Three pipe bombs, right? Siphon them, siphon them and then like, I'd say uh, multiple pipe bombs or landmines. Nice. Probably shouldn't have picked that up. That probably is going to trigger hell. To whom am I concerned? Due to the Luthier's long absence, I am keeping hold of this house key. Please find me if you need it. Joseph Simon. Okay, well, I need to find a uh, violin key. Benny, sit on your poof. Put on your poof, beanie. You notice how, like, the- I don't know if you guys see it, but the PC version, like, holds on a frame. When you shoot a guy, it'll, like, duplicate- Oh, shit. It'll, like, duplicate a frame. When you, like, blow them up, stutters for a second. Everyone's having the same problem. Uh... Valuable slash combinable. Okay. That's when it tells you whether or not you can get more shit out of it. You're only going to get that on the PC version. Uh... Actually, I just got access to way more stuff. Because we got the well. Can't go up into the left. I have to unlock that. Let's just run backwards.
fucking pig. I shot him, though. Dude should not have ran at me like that. He shouldn't have. Straight up. Yeah, this was the room from the start. Oh man, I used my lock pick. Oh, there's a barber there. Okay. Seems like I used that right here. That's happened a few times already, right? That's happened a few times already, where it's like... Here's an item. I mean, you just saw a thing that you need to find for, you know, the thing. And then right next to it, here's that item. Oh! Okay. It just, yeah. The game just kind of like drops you the thing you need right next to where you need it. It's like, oh. Oh, okay. Yo, Con Ryan, thank you, dude. Seven sniper rounds, that's quite good. Okay, um... That well is down, but there is still some... shit to be discovered in here. Whoa! Oh, this has to be some second floor... Nonsense? Sick. Super sick. Damn, I feel like a genius. Okay, things are happening, right? Things are indeed happening. Uh... Huh. Go back down here. <laughs> I wanted <laughs> Somebody... <laughs> this is, uh, made me think of this chat. Somebody was like, who the hell puts shotgun ammo into a birdcage like that? Hold on a second. <laughs> I, have, I have the perfect audio cue for you, chat. Hopefully... Does this play? Doesn't. Damn it. I'm trying to... Oh, I think I know what I gotta do. I have the perfect setup for this. Hold on a second, Chad. I have to do this now. Who the hell... would possibly put... a bunch of shotgun ammo... In a bird cage like that. Capcom. <laughs> That's it. That was my joke. That was it. That was my whole that was my whole joke. <laughs> For some reason, in my head, I heard, I was like, Capcom, but for some reason, in my head, 
I heard it like this. In my head, I heard the word Capcom like this. Capcom. <laughs> Can't, I'm sorry. But, um, tch. Oh, shit. I'm like, what? Where is that Capcom? <laughs> like, where's that intro from? It's not like our old RE games. It's from CVS One. That's what it is. Well, the guy I shot up here had chem, chem, chem fluid on him. Cheekies! You guys gotta have golden eggs, right? If I like sneak up on the cheekies, do they? Uh, can I spook them? Cheekies are in a constant state of spoopage. Hmm. So the gimmick in uh, RE4 chat is that the chickens have an, have an ability to drop a golden egg. These guys aren't really dropping eggs, they're just dropping poultry. Um... But you have to spook the chickens. You have to spook them into, uh, essentially laying an egg. Hey, hey, damn it. Where'd he go? Oh. Right, so there's a, there's a, there's a chicken mechanic in, in RE4. When you're going around the village. These guys just get spooked no matter what. Come on, you fucking, you fucking chicken. Like a Garwa and Monster? Literally like that, actually, yeah. Damn, dude. I am enjoying this game possibly 10 times more with the FOV slider about 15 degrees out more. Right? I'm not even lying. I am enjoying looking around the environment so much more. Because we're not, like, laser focused in on this, like, one little area. And I'm like, huh? What the fuck is, huh? Uh, my eyes, okay. I'm already having way more fun. No, there is no FOV slider. Somebody modded it in. And it's fantastic. It's so good. And I, I didn't even bump it out a whole bunch. I just... FOV slider... Uh, the, 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 uh, that is the perfect example of the fear. Oh my god. Literal perfect example. The super zoomed in FOV on Resident Evil 7 slash Resident Evil 8 is the most clinical... Man, in the absolute clinical definition of the fear. It's zoomed in because of the fear. You can't see anything. Yeah, but it sucks. Like, it... It's a, it literally... It's, it's, it's so bad. It just hurts my eyes. Fear. Hold on a sec, I want to use this really fast. I'm enjoying this way more. Like, I'm actually just... Just playing the game feels so much better. And is the game less scary? No! I just had like the biggest jump scare since Alien Isolation happened. And it scared the shit out of me. I just- I just- I just went through a crazy, uh, village portion that was genuinely spoopy. And I loved it. Would the fur have been enhanced if it was FOV'd in? No! That's bullshit! No! Jank aspects don't make the fear. That's why it's a meme. The fear. Nice, Ethan. Ethan? Thank you. Close quarters, shotgun land. Oh, I just unlocked that door. There's gonna be a guy in an outhouse eventually. I think that 100% is gonna happen. So I'm seeing things- oh, there's a louder ring. Right? 
Huh. I wonder where I'm supposed to go. Huh. I wonder... Where I'm supposed to go. I'm one I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Let's go over here. The chimney. Yo, Pui Pui Geo, thank you, dude, for the uh, tier one. Hold on a second, let me loot. What the hell? Why would you put that there? Dude! Went from zero to up my ass in half a second. And then he went from up my ass to having no head in a quarter of a second. Sacrifice two goats. Uh, sacrifice two goats to Mother Miranda. Check. Offered wool to Mother Miranda. She instructed I find her a list of drugs and tools for the next few days. What for, I wonder? Must be a crazy party. February 8th, no message from Mother Miranda. Chick is ducking me, yet the livestock won't stop the ruckus. February 9th, I was instructed to take the items to the cave church at sunrise. But what I saw was frightful. Absolute nightmarish hellscape. The great four lords were there and Mother Miranda was holding a child. She whispered something and she touched the child. It was not appropriate. I can't tell it well, but the child turned into a white crystal. And then she... I couldn't help but speak up. I'm like, lady, I asked her why she was doing this. Miranda, she just smiled. She said, this is the chosen child. She will return to her original form no matter what befalls her. And then she gave each lord a part of the crystal and a flask and they left. The weirdest Sunday night ever. I forgot to bow to Mother Miranda though before I left and I'm still shaking. What did she do and wh what the hell is that kid? Why did she turn into crystal meth? I still have so many questions. This is genuinely weird though, right? This is actually super weird. Anonymous, thank you for the 10 gift subs. I mean, to go back on what we actually just read. This is genuinely super weird. Um... Child turned into a white crystal? kid turned into like angel dust <laughs> couldn't help but speak up and I asked her why she did such a thing this is the chosen child she will return to her original form no matter what befalls her well that's weird the winged key is just a single piece three more parts are needed to make it whole yeah I, that makes sense Oh, can I have it? Can I like... Ah! Damn it. Better see the Duke again. Damn, my legs. Oh, this place is fully investigated. All right, that was fun. That was really fun. Um, legit enjoying the hell out of uh the Resident Evil -y exploration, right? With with like enemies sprinkled here and there in spoopy areas and stuff like that. I think that part is fantastic in this game. I love it. I love it. Maybe this is opened up down here a little bit. We can definitely loot some more wells. Yeah, that's a, still a locked zone. Uh, yeah, this was this was very fun to go through. Chicken. Oh, dead chicken. 
Uh, Four-winged unborn key. I can get through there. I can get through there. I can make my way back around to the bottom. Okay. Wide linear? Shut the hell up, chat. Wide linear? Come on. What? Uh, well, 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 well. Did that one. I don't remember these villagers' bodies being here. But you know, whatever. Valuable jewelage? Oh, sh shit. Okay. If it's a combinable, it's a combinable. Like, straight up. Um, I'm gonna have to hold on to the necklace with two holes for quite some time. Right. Some chicken shit up there. Uh oh, we got a well. Yeah. We have to go check it out. We have to go check it out. Yeah, we did the Azure Ring combo. We didn't even do it with the, uh... What's it called? We didn't even do it with the, the treasure map. We just found it. Fuck. Leave me alone. That's a huge... That is a huge fucking pig. Everything really calms down when I go in here. What the hell? I'm trying to save you here. Sweet Jesus. Ah! Okay. Piggy, I'm trying to save you. Chill out. Three pipe bombs? Damn. You son of a bitch! You turned on me! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Sorry! Ow! Oh shit. That's it.
All right. There's only one way to be sure. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. What? Explosivo? Damn, did we just miss this stuff? Nah. Can't get in there anymore. Where the hell was in there? Alright, well that was a joyous good time. Can't climb up there. Okay, okay, okay. Exploration is fun. Looking for stuff and finding things. Wait. Louise's necklace. Oh. Damn, it doesn't go in there. There's got to be a way back inside this damn house. Right? There has to be a way. Huh. There's like literally a locked door in here and all this other extra shit. But you can't get in. Maybe it's got to it's got to be later. This is there's no entrance here, no entry. Hang on a second. Wanted to change this to um Oh my god. Oh, so much better. So much better. The, the, it was one option below. It was literally one option below and I missed it. Oh my god, this is so much better. Bobby Ethan? Nah. Ah, uh, hell no. Nah. I hear you fucking birds. I hate, I hate having to shoot these animals to get these items. Very pretty animals that I have to murder to acquire their meat. Hey buddy, how's it going? How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. 
First, you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Backstory. Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the doll maker, Donna Beneviento. Donna Beneviento. The playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. Cool. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, that's me. I have a heads up for you guys. Um, I, I, I mentioned it yesterday in the stream, but about four years ago, I did the voice acting and motion capture for Heisenberg. Uh, I went to Capcom Japan to, to do all the recording, and it took about a few weeks, and, and I came back, uh, and I didn't hear anything until, like, the game came out. So I guess I get to announce it now that... I am Heisenberg uh, in the game, which is pretty fun. Um, my my next announcement is that I'm not Heisenberg, and none of that's true. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Some treasures still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Please do come again soon. Okay. Welcome. Ah, yes, I have you. Find some quality ingredients and bring them to me. The Duke's Kitchen. Oh, so here's where we get health rewards. More health. More defense on guard. More health. More, more health. More defense on guard. And more speed. Fish and finest fish. That one I want. A superior cabbage roll stuffed with a rare fish found only in this region. So light they make your body feel almost weightless. A favorful broth soup made from high quality meat from a creature found in this region. Protein rich for turning bodies into bastions. Um, very much. The, the, the fingers. <laughs> the Italian. Right? There's a little, it's going all over the place. Greatly increased permanently. Well, I can almost make that. I can't make that because I need more fish. Make that. Mm -hmm. We've gathered all the ingredients. Now. Apologies for the wait. Here's your share. Bone apitit. Uh, bon apitit, chat. Not a bad dish. Okay. I need one more meat for health increase greatly. Uh, 
All right. Uh, sell the large crystal. Sell the crystal skull. Sell the perfect crystal skull. Sell the crystal wings. Damn, four of those. S keep hold of the necklace. Keep hold of that. Sell the teddy bear. Uh, sell the necklace stone. Sell the uh, crafted wood goat. Keep the poultry. Keep the game. Damn. Damn, these are worth a lot. Okay, I'm about to make fifty fifty thousand dollars. Huh. Necklace stone, no. Wait, why not? It's not combinable. The necklace stone says not combinable. If it's combinable, chat, it says this. Valuable slash combinable. Yeah. Now this is something to splurge on. I've gotten some new stock. Yeah, I could put this in here to uh uh to get these things out of my inventory. But at the same time, Damn, no, my inventory is kind of if I say so fucked right now. Huh. Welcome. Actually, wait a minute. Didn't you, did you not have? Well, there you go. There you go. That's there, there and there you go. This thing is going to come with attachments, too. Yeah, I can possibly sell the Lemmy. Thinking about it. Yeah, there is no item, item boxes. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. Food is life. I don't know if I need that. I don't, not yet. Till next we meet. Okay. So scary. So, I have to do this. Buffer gun? Or buff gun? Okay. Rearrange your inventory space a bit? Nah. Isn't there like an auto arrange? Whatever. Okay. Save all that progress we just made. Now, uh, if we go back... Water wheel weapon. 
I... Maestro's collection. Hang on a second. There's some shit in here. Where the hell? That ain't right. Oh, that's that's the one with the violin key. All right. That we don't have. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, let's go back up to the castle really fast. Maybe there's something on the way there. Maybe this game just opened up like crazy. Deuce Comics, thank you for the five gift subs. Oh, I can't get back up to the damn vineyard. I gotta go back to Castle Demetrask? Demetrask? How do I get back there? How did I get back here? So many questions. Lower the gate! Peace. Okay. Okay. Uh, what? I wonder why drawbridge, water wheel weapon. This has a key that I can actually use to get through. Oh, but that's on the other side. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My brain, stupid. Oh, I only have the four-winged key. Okay.
There is no FOV slider in this game. Only in the PC version can you mod in a uh, an FOV slider. You're telling me there's an item in here? What the shit? What the shit? What is in here? What? Jesus, man. Jesus. Okay. Um. Yeah, I want to go down here. Four-winged key. Four-winged. Okay. Oh! Beep, boop, beep. Kind of curious, uh, what happens? No, no, Demetresk like crushes you through the top of the tower and you go flying down forever. Yeah. Yeah, that's not where we want to go. I want to go here. What? It's decorated with a four-winged being. What? Unborn? Oh, four-winged unborn. Okay. There's no baby in this one. Got it. Okay. Well, Huh? Okay, we're going back to Disneyland now. Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Welcome to Disney World chat room. I'm headphoning it up. Right? I'm headphoning this shit up right now. Going straight to Disneyland. I'm gonna eat some Skittles. Hang on a second. I'm gonna eat some Skittles. I haven't had Skittles since the pandemic started. Uh, this is a mango smoothie. Hmm. Okay. Wow. That's too loud, too scary. I can't hear anything. Can you guys hear anything?
I hear it now. Okay, I don't know what that changed. Yeah, I can hear it now. Okay. Words don't drop like poultry meat and shit. This is great. Completely normal. <coughs> Nothing wrong with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Something I have to tell you. Mia? What's going on? feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. What the hell is this? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. This can't be real. Only nine years old? Freed from the binds of flesh, she now walks the valley of death. Am I losing it? Cool. Cool. Down, please. Oh, thank you. Up, please.
Damn, this would be so amazing in VR, because it's still amazing right here, you know? I switched to the shoddy in the dark? No, I didn't. The game did. Sick. Super sick. I'm gonna have another Skittle. Just for, not for comfort. You know, just because they taste good. Definitely not for comfort. Definitely not delicious Skittles based strawberry banana smoothie comfort. Strawberry banana smoothie. Okay. Very good. Wow, really good. Okay. Damn. The spatial audio of this waterfall sounds great. Uh-oh. My cunning ingenuity. Okay, here we go. Damn, you can practically smell this place. It smells like old wood. It smells like old, damp wood. Rich mahogany. <clears throat> Just seeing how deep the rabbit hole goes. I dare you to blink. Do it! Fucking do it! Grumble, grumble. What the hell? Let me through here. Going back.
Foyer needs to be investigated. Foyer? I like the Froyo. Nothing in any of this? Okay. Oh, I missed that. That's not weird. Okay, um, there has to be something down here that's investigatable, right? It's red, so there's got to be a thing. There could be a shootable item somewhere. These plates keep really standing out to me. Weird. I guess I'll have to come back. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Creepy house is moderately creepy. Like a different looking house. The cat's back. This little clock is making so much noise. You know what this feels like? A way better version of... What's it called? We just played RE1. The outdoor area in RE1, like the cabin. It feels like a way better version of the cabin in RE1. But 
I don't understand is... Where the hell is this item in? Okay. Alright. Archaloids of mountainous plants. Alka alkaloids of I thought that was like an Arkale mountain thing. Huh. Okay. See what these other flavors of Skittles are like. Maybe there's another Skittle in here I'm gonna really like. Hold on a sec. Let's get a mystery flavor. Oh, two fell out. Okay, so this is a combination of both two pinks. Okay, so it's both strawberry, banana. Yeah, all right. Very good. Very good. Mm, smoothie Skittle. Very good. not picking that up yet. Not yet. Ethan, grab the thing out of there. Ethan, yoink that shit. What the hell?
Oh, Jesus, this is... Is this... a doll of... Mia? Huh. Rebuken! Sorry! Sorry. I feel like I can take this eye out or something. Yeah, and I have to cut through this with something. Feels like that should be something, right? Yeah, I can't uh, investigate the other leg. I think this needed. Can't investigate that. What's here? The only other things are the, uh, the mouth? What the hell? It's 
some kind of tool to get what's in the mouth? They like clamps or something like that. Tweezers. It's not in here. He essentially cleaned off the ring and investigated uh, everything in here. Just flip the head over and shake it out, man. Come on. Okay. All right. Something we're not clicking on that is click able. Fuck. I feel like I'm missing something on this eye. And this arm. Like, what the hell? No. Can't interact with it. Uh-oh. The door is locked now. What was the date on the ring? Uh, 5-29-11. I'm free. No guns. No guns. Memento of my time with Ethan, but this music box no longer plays. Wait, is the music box from the house? Why is this here? That's weird. Have to get it to play possibly just by guessing which one goes where that's not it no 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 don't play it again damn it there's a bunch of scratches and stuff maybe we can line up the scratches um, yeah, 
No. No. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah! All that for some tweezers? Don't let me pass. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Focus. Focus. Rose's best friend in the whole wide world. She likes this fairy tale, the most important thing in the world to us. A wedding gift from Grandma. Proof of Ethan's everlasting love for me. Is this in order of what happened at the beginning of the game? holds it so close he's like <laughs> um
Ah. Huh. Rose's best friend in the whole world. She likes the fairy tale. Most important thing to us, a wedding gift from Grandma. Grandma? Likes the fairy tale. Most important thing in the world to us. Uh, this one needs to be swapped here. I was thinking it was technically, uh, the sequence of events at the beginning of the game, but I guess not. What? What? Fuck. What? Fuck. Somebody picked that up. Those are bandages? talking about. see. Oh my fucking god.
fuck out of here, man! Ah, uh, just hi, fucking hi, oh, oh god, yeah. If this was in VR, that might have been the scariest fucking thing ever. That might have legit been the like the scariest thing. This might have been the scariest fucking thing ever made. There's never been anything scarier. Never. I honestly think if that part was in VR, I'd have thrown the th headset off my head. Fuck it. Whatever. That was practically a fucking boss fight. That was practically a boss fight. Why is there a hide feature?
Oh god! Ah! Oh! Ah, this thing is fucking terrifying! Oh god! Blow me under! Blow me under the fucking thing! Blow me under! Where do we have to go? Only one way to go. What what did we get? Where are we going? What do we need to do? Just get back to the door? Let's get back to the door. Oh my god! No, 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 I'm not your dad, dad. Elevator! Get in the elevator! Yeah. Click the button! Jesus Christ. Try and find me. <laughs> Oh, 
Rip this thing's head off! Ow! Fucking monster! Stab this thing in the head! Standing ovation. I need to make a sta I need a standing ovation. Yeah, I'm gonna standingly ovate. I'm going to ovate standingly. I'm gonna I'm gonna get up. Um, I'm gonna get up now, and I am going to. This is for this is for you, Capcom. You did it. Standing ovation. Congratulations, Capcom. You guys did it. Congratulations. It has been done, and you did it. I had some doubts at the start, but I am now standing and ovating. That is what's happening. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. I need to tell Kenny to not play this in VR or uh, he might not survive. I need to tell Kenny. I need to tell Kenny that he should not play this in VR because if he does play it in VR, I might lose my friend. He might actually die. Um, my head is cut off. That makes it even better. I I don't tell Kenny. I mean, they somehow outdid the scariest. <laughs> Shut up, Benny. They somehow outdid the scariest zone. The scariest zone in RE7. They outdid it. The, uh... The baby room? I don't believe it. Yes, Benny is shaved. He got a haircut. Beanie got a haircut. Beanie. What a good boy. Beanie got a haircut. Wow. 
That shit was so goddamn scary. That is easily, I'd say, one of the most terrifying sequences ever put into a video game, you know? And the baby room was... The baby room was really damn terrifying. I could not even imagine. I could not even imagine going through that in VR. Like, that shit could have scarred me for life. Holy shit, dude. Like, not... I, I wasn't... Just, like, not expecting any of it. And then the baby... ...comes down the hallway. So that's who was behind all this? Got no strings? Oh, man. A Pinocchio reference? This place was incredible. All the little- all the tiny little puzzles you have to do, all the observation puzzles that's full of, like, Resident Evil stuff. It is the most terrifying fucking thing in the world because it's nothing but atmosphere. Nothing but atmosphere and tension. There's not even any- there's no guns. There is no guns. Jesus, dude. Short, sweet, to the point area? I mean... I felt like we were in here for about 45 minutes to an hour. So it really wasn't short. I mean, you could run through it. And make it go by really fast, but holy shit. That was audio echo because my... My speakers were loud as fuck. Uh, I had to turn them down because of the headset. God damn, dude. God damn. It felt like an eternity. I can't even... How good that was, was absolutely insane. I'm- I am actually blown away. I'm actually blown away how good that was. Sweet Jesus, man. And this is the thing, right? That's one of the things that made RE7 so scary, was the fact that... Was the fact that the girl... Um... Mia, not Mia. Uh, what's the name of the girl in RE7? Eve. Eve is like ethereal, you know? She's like a ghost. That part makes... is so much scarier than... Big blob monsters, right? Big goopy monsters. So much more terrifying. Like Alma, exactly Octo. I mean, that's... and I think the dude that wrote Fear wrote RE7 as well, which is funny. The molded are pretty terrifying, right? Pretty scary. Um, but the moments that are like the ethereal fuck with your brain stuff are so much scarier. And the fact that Resident Evil has only done that kind of stuff like a couple of times between this game and RE7 now with this like, we're gonna mess with your head type of thing still blows my mind that they haven't actually gone into the territory of like fatal frame slash zombie ghosts that's why I've, I've always said the goofy shit about you know what's the next where can where can resident evil go from this and i'm like dude let's do zombie ghosts right let's do this thing where umbrella has found a way to corrupt the afterlife they have found a way to actually fuck with you and have zombie ghosts so, so Silent Hill, yeah, maybe, I don't know. But it just sets up for more of the game to be stuff like this. Because the weird ghost shit, the paint peeling off the wall kind of stuff is like, oh god, this is scary as fuck, you know? So basically, Evil Within, I mean, that's kind of what Evil Within allowed for, you know? Evil Within sort of allowed for that shit to take place. But Evil Within goes for some ghostly stuff? But not all the time. It goes for, like, genuine, like, weird body horror kind of, kind of stuff. What difficulty would you put that in this game? Difficulty? What do you mean, like, I'm in, I'm in hardcore.
there's something else down here I can pick up. Oh, that's right. That makes two. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Tja. Tja. Can't even believe how effective that whole sequence was. There's no reason to go down there, but I mean, we can try. I doubt I'll be able to go down the elevator because there's no more searchable. Oh, well, there you go. I think these doors are just locked. Yeah, there's not one single like item outside of the very end throughout the whole house. It's just here to be scary and spooky. Yeah, I thought so. It's locked. You fight the baby, you can't even go down there. The baby wasn't real, Chet. The baby was all metaphorical. It was all in Ethan's head. Jesus, man. <laughs> Didn't think this game would be so engaging after Lady D died? Funny enough, I mean... Weirdly enough, the game has gotten substantially better since Lady D has been axed. The game has gotten way better since since Lady D has been gone, which is funny. But if it hits you, would it, would it hurt you? Um, I mean, it's in your mind, right? And the body cannot live without the mind. So, yes. Some Matrix shit. Yeah, the environment opening up was also a big part. Jesus, dude. <sighs> yeah, you can definitely get hurt by the baby, but you can't, like, fight it. There's nothing to fight it with. It's just about avoiding it. We're not gonna get any crazy hallucinations anymore because that... It was coming from, um, Ventriloquist. Yeah, I can definitely examine the vial. February 9th afternoon, House Benevenito. Those waking nightmares I was having in that house was all the work of Donna. But I admit that I'm worried about the thing that Mia won't tell me before, wouldn't tell me before. And now, I'll never know what it was. Only two flasks left, I swear at least. Save Rose. Donna's creepy ass doll, it doesn't move anymore. Bullshit, it doesn't move anymore. Thank you, Benny. Bullshit, it doesn't move anymore. It better move. His finger needs to twitch or something like Bloodborne. You know what we're definitely going to get out here is enemies. Huh. Interesting. Return the slab. No, I can only put key items down here and the doll doesn't go here. <clears throat> Call the doll is not a key item and I can't go left and right. I'll have to come back. Return the slab. Definitely wasn't up here because, uh, you know, 
We would have seen it. Jesus, dude. Maybe later. Yeah, maybe later. Was looking into the stutter on kill shots. It's fidelity, C air, whatever seems to be the setting to change. Let's take this dog out, chat. Really? Okay. What? Is how we came in here? Did I miss this box completely? That's interesting. Let's see if that actually does anything. No, it's just foggy here. The atmosphere just changed. Benny! Stop barking! <laughs> it's close to midnight. Something evil's looking at your door. Under the- oh shit! Under the moonlight! Holy... Mother of God. You try to scream! But terror takes the sound before you make it. What's happening here? What am I stuck on? Well, there's your zombies, chat. These dudes were literally crawling out of the ground. What the hell are zombies doing in a Resident Evil game? They literally crawled out of the ground. <gasps> Alright, chat. I want you to sit here... ...and... Think about what just happened with this music in the background. Okay. I'll be RB, don't go anywhere. It's definitely something. So, you like to play Castlevania? In case anyone wants to see the FPS, I put it above my head. Hmm. Wow. Wow. That whole sequence... ...was amazing. Holy shit. Oh my. Tastical shotgun? And now I got two shotguns? Two handguns and a lot of meat? And a partridge in a pear tree? Did you get the pre-order handgun? I don't know.
Oh. Game getting better? After the Lady D section? I think it is. Um, yeah, I think so. Personally. Yeah, I can go back there and put that in there? Oh no. Everything looking great on your end, chat? No, oh, this needs like a chunk. Yeah, I see what it is. It's like a it's like a big piece right there and this over there. Okay, never mind. So what the hell is this to? A sun ball made of metal decorated with. Hmm. Not too sure what. We'll figure it out. No, the treasure map I have, we discovered the item without the treasure map, funny enough. Unlike RE7, where you have to have the treasure maps to find the items, it, like, puts the items there. Um, we already discovered it. Wow, look at all this shit over here. Come over here. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hold on a sec, chat. Beep. Beep. Oh, no more delay. Bye, kitty. This is open now. Oh, Madalinda? Did I finally find that? Sun's out. Cool. I, I have found this game is like giving me direct hints at all these treasure items, but because we're being moderately perceptive with the environment, we've already found all these things. We've literally already discovered like the majority of what the hell? The majority of shit the game is like pointing out to us. Okay, I'm getting explosivos and I am upset. November 10th, Mistress Donna is now Mother Miranda's adopted daughter. In all my years, I've never been overjoyed. Ever since childhood, she has always feared others due to the scars across her face. After her parents' death, she locked herself away and would only talk to Angie, the doll her father made her. I am forever thankful to Mother Miranda's infinite compassion. Mistress Donna seems happy. It might be my imagination, but I feel like her doll Angie is even more lively than before. She came to me in the garden today, and we used Angie to talk with me. We had a mighty fine conversation. Something about receiving a gift of power from Mother. Mistress Donna gave me yellow flowers and told me to plant them in the garden. I planted them in front of Miss Claudia's grave. I don't know if, she, if it was the secret from or the scent from the flowers, but I had felt lightheaded. Then, like a dream, I saw my departed wife. I mentioned this to Donna, and she seemed thrilled by it, so told me to go into the house tomorrow and see her. She said I could see my family once more. I'm not sure what she meant by that, but she's so kind. She's literally Scarecrow. Right? She's literally the Scarecrow. With a funky doll. Oh, shit. Cool.
That is true, the T-Virus was made from flowers in Africa. That's what RE5 is about. That's where this goes. Okay, I'm playing Zelda now. Oh god. Shit. Physics-based puzzles! Oh my god, okay. Cool. Wait. That might be worth a couple grand. Save after solving the incredibly difficult puzzle. I like the confetti. Congratulations. Is that necessary? Yes. These feckin' big ass bats. Yeah, I hear flapping, but I don't see flapping. It was the big bat guys. That's gonna fall. Watch. Watch. It's close to me. Ow, shit. Worry about you guys when I come back. Okay. Wow. Well, that was crazy. Does this look familiar to you? Yes. Need more meat. Damn it. Shit. I've gotten some new stock. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Can't sell that yet. Okay, it's just pulling 66 grand really fast. Ah, Miss Angie. Just adorable. Porcelain dolls are very popular, you know. Yeah, huh? Ooh, I got a new shotgun to buff out. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications and will do them for a small fee. Flashbangs. Huh. Customizable part for a handgun greatly reduces recoil. Customizable part for a shotgun greatly reduces recoil. Oh, excellent. It could happen. One moment, please. Oh, the power of these guns has now gone up. 
but they're not nearly as powerful as the new gun. Delighted to. I have no idea if it's worth upgrading the first pistol. I don't know. I haven't even shot anything with my second shotgun yet. Younger. Please come again. Uh. Right? I haven't even shot anything with my second shotgun yet. I don't even know what it does. Okay. Woo! Uh, where to now? We gotta go back to here. No, wait, 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 wait. We gotta go back to... Here. Got that one key. Yeah, livestock doesn't seem to respawn. Oh man, I can't go this way. Shit. in here was lock pick required oh shit put a piece of dynamite in it do it sick Uh, we really got to go down and around. I see chickens. Where the hell? It's chickens. Fucking map. This is still blocked off, yeah. Uh trying to figure out how the hell. Maybe I can get over here now. No, this door. Whoa. I did not see that before. And actually, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Not combinable? Damn. Shiny. What'd I just do? Oh, that's right. This is just like a loot goblin room. Okay. Oh, shit. Dudes are literally coming up out of the ground. Chickens up there have been snubbed. There we go. It's chicken time. Chickens. Well, this isn't exactly what I wanted, but found the chickens.
That's the back room over there that I was thinking of. Uh, how the hell do I get back down here, man? Got to be from inside this house. It's got to be. How many zombies just popped out of the ground over here? 10? 20? Shit, enough to be annoying. Now I gotta go straight ahead into this house. Through here. Back this way. Through Pigtown, USA. Over here. Wait, why? Really? Really? Could I have gone through that one shortcutted door? I guess I could have. Yeah, I could have come through that door. I think so. I just went the long way to uh, become more familiar with the area. It's over here. Twenty-seven, nine, seventeen. Seventy-six, thirty-nine, thirty-four. What's with all these damn digits, man? No, that's, this is, I'll never forget her fifth birthday, yeah. This is the, uh, the bait. We already saw the correct digits. 27, 9, 17. Rapukin, sorry. Sick. Damn, my big ass gun. Okay. Reisvelger? Is that how you pronounce it? Reisvelger? Ah, my pricks. My extended mag. My prized possession. Heaven's Ward. Um... Yeah, we needed a Call of Duty guitar uh, rift from Modern Warfare 2. Put you down, down. Damn these parts where there's, you know, there's an item in here, but I don't know where. Gotta be some funky crystal on the wall or some shit. No 
it says it's in here. Using my sense of perception, my eyes, ears, and nose to smell everything and look at everything. God damn. How does he do it? How does he do it? Something looked off. Okay. Um, we have the four winged unborn. I guess we're going down, right? Like our shortcut way. So I can become better familiar with this place. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, yes, yes. You can take this off me. Damn, you can take that off me. That's worth a shit ton of money. Take that off me. Hold on to the rest. You have part with this? No, no. I'm more than happy to purchase it. Um, we can do the damage down. Still need more fish. Or meat. This seems intentional, right? Seems like they only put so much out here, and I'm gonna get these, like, one by one, you know? I kinda have to do this because... Mm -hmm. ...taking up inventory space. Wait. Just excuse me a moment. I already got the fish next to the castle. Here it is. Please, join me. I wouldn't mind having that again. Did he eat it? This is all an investment, Ethan. Did he like did he eat it? Did I give it to him so he could eat it? I see. Anything else? It's like, oh thank you. Mm. Um, very good. I wouldn't be surprised if this shotgun at this level, like, goes up even more. I would not be surprised. One moment, please. I'll save my money for now. Food is life. If something crazy pops up. Have a wonderful adventure. Save that shit. Please open. Cool. Ah, 
now, man. Bye. Guns too accurate. Oh my god, pausing makes you actually stop. Okay, um, uh, I gotta go up river to get to that place. Those green shit everywhere. I know where that is now. There's some weird shit happening over there. Ah, oh, crap. Lock this door too. Holy crap, dude, it's coming. That's the sound of that fucking thing. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Oh, lordy, lordy. So. These are flame rounds? 
explosives. Yeah, explosive rounds. And I have no I have no flash rounds currently. Okay, so I got six explosive rounds. Ah oh, shit. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Wait, you just slap me and then slap my ass and run away? What? Thing just slap my ass and then peace out. It's bullshit. Here, let me just take a chem from you. What an asshole. Biggies. Oh, there is something else in there? Well, oh, god damn it. Get it later. Pigs have a weird amount of life. on there. Photo of rare animal. Dude, I already have that. I already got that pig. I Every time the game is like, hey, you can go get this rare thing. I'm like, I already have it. I already did that. And I already have it. I need to break it to you. Reservoir elevator. Yeah, I don't think we can go anywhere else right now. I think maybe out here? Oh, it's another one of these. Got it. Just literal loot puzzles. Loot puzzles. I want to kill that big guy. I'm assuming because he's, f he's fuzzy. And I now have the grenade launcher with f explosive rounds. You might really not like that very much. Might not like explosive rounds. Jesus. What the hell? Wow. Wow. Sp 
Boop Land, USA? Oh, hell. Wait. Okay. It's creepy funk growing everywhere. Damn, does this place look great, though? God damn. Shit. Huh? Oh. Really? padlock on it. Um, wherever this thing might be, I don't see it. It's a rock on a wall. It makes sense that there'd be a lot of rocks on walls in this area. It's not in anything. Let's see that over there. Nice rug. Oh, shit. Yoink. I'll just be taking this. What? 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 What, <laughs> what are you doing with mother's special child? She's not hers. I'll be taking this. Oh, you have something to say? What do you mean, mother's special child? Mother wants her baby back. Don't screw with me. Wait, 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 please, please. If you take it, then the others will laugh at me. But if I, I do better than them... What do I care? Wait, just a little longer. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. <laughs> it's all over. I plugged the way in. What are you? This is my territory. And I won't let you leave. Shit. Damn freak! Cool. I'll just, I'll just whack your goop. Stop it! Stop it! Need a better knife. Get the shit out of here. Stop it. Uh, uh. 
Get your goopy shits out of here. Out of here. Well, that's where that was. It was in an un uh, reachable location. Neat. This dude pukes for a living. Uh oh. Damn, this looks great. Holy shit, this looks so good. Still getting that frame hitch, right? When we uh, blow a dude's head off. It switch weapons so fast. Oh no! Oh dear. I made two. Nice. Worth it. Oh, Jesus. That one, that one started a lot. Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. I'm gonna reload my knife. Oh, I guess I could have held out in here. I guess we just killed them all. They're all dead. They're all dead. There one hundred percent is something like a spinal or something I can shoot out of here. That wasn't it. It was the powder. 
Damn, there's a ton of stuff down here. What the shit? <laughs> Waiting for something to get shiny. Need the shiny. Gotta get the thing and sell it to the fat dude outside. Give me the shiny. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. That was it. So wait, now where are we supposed to go? Huh? You just excavated everything out of here. Oh, no, I got a key. In between me, uh, blasting some heads, I got a Boat key. Gone fishing! You ever been fishing, chat? Used to go, like, fishing every weekend with my dad. We'd go trout fishing. And, uh, weren't supposed to bring fish home. This was, like, 20 years ago. 25? Maybe 30 years ago. <laughs> Shit. And, uh, you know, we would bring trout home and eat it because we were, didn't have a lot of money. But it was educational because I learned how to fillet a fish. And like, yeah, got a fish, all that kind of stuff. I had never done it since. I never had a reason to do it since, but damn, dude, trout is so good. So tasty. One time I was just um, practice casting, uh, just, just throwing a line into the water, bringing it back, and just practicing how to cast. Uh, and I was throwing it into rapids. And I pulled the line back, and it was moving. Fishies. And I was like, holy shit, I caught a fish. I pulled the fish out, and my dad was like shocked. He's like, what? And when I came up, I had hooked a fish. Not in the mouth. But in the eye. This poor damn fish. Got hooked in the eye. And I pulled it out, and I was like, whoa. It happens. Yeah. And then, um... My dad is like, uh... Essentially just had to... Pull the hook out, which took the eye with it. And he wasn't bleeding or anything, so... Put the back fish back in the water, and he swam away. Why? <laughs> that fish? What is that emote? <laughs> this, this, like, head of a fish? Why? So somewhere out there, there was a one-eyed fish. That maybe somebody else caught at some point. Did you put the eye back in? See... It's not exactly how... Biology works? You don't just put the eye back back in Okay, where the hell are we going? We got a boat key or some shit. Labyrinth puzzle. Whoa. Shit. Man. No reason to go back over here, is there? But it's red. Uh, what?
This is an interesting idea for a level, though. Gotta admit, it's pretty cool. It's only one thing to do, and it's like... Go down this way. There was no boat here, was there? No. Maybe I gotta actually leave to come back. I just wanted to come back to this room. It's so cool looking. Holy shit. Love the lighting, everything about this room. So sick. One of these boats are usable, right? No. Okay. Um, yeah, the, we're going to go back outside. being so close to this thing. What the shit? <laughs> Suddenly he was very close to me. Nice, Ethan. Leave the boat key in the shack in the mine. Hans is dead, so no more fishing for a while. I mean, we all know his death was no accident. He was eaten by a giant fish, boat and all. Really? Want that though. Oh. And. Okay. Sit down. Okay, boat time! <clears throat> Can I pilot the boat? Sick. Ethan, let's get this thing. Ethan. Ethan, cut that tarp. Ethan. Shit, this boat controls, though. Okay, I'm going forward.
What was that? It's a barracuda. Search post or something. What the fuck are they doing here? Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! Ethan! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd My be god, a shame Chris. Something happened to you now. Sure, Chris. Why not? You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Hey, Cap, I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown, but my guess is we've been here too long, and Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, did you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. You stay out of our business, Ethan. What business? Sick. Time for this. Alright. Miranda is already preparing Miranda sent you to slow me down? You're pathetic. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, he is the fish. He's trying to control it. He like, it seems like he wants to be normal, but he can't. He turns into this horrible fucking fish. Cool. Um, sick. <clears throat> what am I supposed to do? This game got so much better after Lady D. Like, and even the Lady D part was okay, but it just didn't seem like it had as much charm as... Like, Resident Evil 7? Like, the- the- what's funny is that the bakers, like, are front-loaded in RE7? I'm just the theorizing right now for a moment. The bakers are front-loaded RE7. And they are great, right? They are fucking fantastic. And they glow up that game so hard at the beginning, you know? The latter portion of RE7, the last, like, quarter of it, isn't actually that great. So the game's front-loaded- front-loaded with amazing shit. And then, on the end, it's only okay. Until, like, pretty much the very end. Like, it's actually kind of, once they're gone, it's really not that great. 
the ship part, anything that comes after that. Once you leave the estate, it's really not good. The weird part is that this game so far, the beginning part is kind of weak. You know, the beginning part's kind of like, oh, this is not so good. And now it's like picked up like crazy, right? It's picked up so much. Lady D was just like a jobber, you know? I mean, everyone, they sort of ran with Lady D because of the, the memes and the marketing, right? And I guess that's good because she's like at the beginning of the game. Uh, but it just goes to show you that, man, like this game really picks up after that part, in my opinion. Like it gets a lot better. Weird. Yeah, the pacing seems to have gotten much better after leaving Castle Demetresque. RE4... Well, I mean, RE... It's gonna be hard to compare this to RE4, because RE4 has immaculate pacing. It's just amazing. Shit. Reservoir Gatehouse Operations Instructions. In an instance of heavy rain, Well, I guess he's here. Um, in an instance of heavy rain, there may be damage to the local aquatic life. It is advised that you drain all excess water using the following steps. Move the windmills with the crank to start the electricity to the gatehouse. Pull the lever in the gatehouse to open the sluice gate. We gotta crank all the windmills. And then we, uh... Get this party started. Drain the water. <sighs> Shit, there's no power. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Damn, bro, you are huge. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. I don't think I got anything new, right? No, I can do this. Damage taken when guarding reduces greatly. Um... Don't let up yet. Oh shit. No, I needed I quality meat. No, we're good. Just excuse me a moment. I gotta get these things out of my inventory. Finished. I'd love for you to enjoy as well. Not a bad dish. I've gotten some new stock. Sell that. Sell that. Keep that. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Uh. Oh. What can we upgrade? Damn, we're almost running out of things we can upgrade. Let's start buying ammo. Leave this to me. Mm -hmm. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. Okay. Some big ass upgrades. Till next we meet. Okay. New door. That new door.
Cool. What can we actually cook up? Uh, a lot of shit, actually. Holy shit. How many healing items do we have? Uh... One! Crap. We have to start reorganizing some shit here, chat? I think we do. Damn it, wrong buttons. Dun, 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 dun. Two, three, four, five. Cool. Excuse me? Baking powder? Okay. That's extra storage for, like, moving shit around on the right. Sniper ammo is too good, man. Alright, here we go. The crank is old and busted up. It feels like it's going to snap any second. I hope it doesn't break. The only other one we have is over at Windmill 2. Chicken time. Chicken. Chicken time. Okay, good. Those chickens are dead. Okay. All right. The Kronk. <laughs> An undercover PETA operative and you're under arrest. Hands up. <laughs> Damn, Ethan, nice. Maybe we're going to have to go back up there and, uh, maybe not. Maybe this is the end of the road right here. Jump on the fish. Yeah, let's go, uh, twist that cronk real fast, see if it does anything. Makes sense. Uh, seriously? Just need some some kind of other item. It's impossible to tell, really. Has it been playing on hardcore? 
there's some spots of the game at the spots of the game at the beginning that are like really hard. Uh, and the rest of the game hasn't been that bad. It's weird. Feels like about normal difficulty. For like the rest of the game. And there's some parts at the beginning that are just unnecessarily and weirdly hard. Uh not looking to fish food. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Fuck did that knock over, man? This thing be knocked down? Please don't jump here and eat me. Okay, so it's not here. Ugh! Staring at Mr. Big Fish Man too much. Oh god. Oh god. So that's what happens there. Let me just uh, do this and I'm gonna go right. There we go. All right. Very nice. Okay. I'm not looking for fish food. <laughs> now me wait. Crazy bloodborne monster. Alrighty then. Extremely challenging puzzle solved. Some auto shit over there. We can go upstairs. Damn. Damn, damn. Uh, stinks. This is weird shit. Magnum ammo. This game has a magnum? Impossible. I don't believe it. No way.
shit. 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 I get it. They they go out eventually, so you have to just run hella fast. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go click. I'm gonna go click. I'm gonna go click. And I'm gonna run. Holy shit. Big fish, man. Big fish, man. That, that, that showed him. Run faster, Ethan! Sweet Jesus. Okay, it's gross. Oh my god. Caught myself a big one. Presumably, yes. Woo! Shit. Okay. This one's already spinning. You can't climb it up, up it like this? And how do I, what? Okay, we gotta get back, I get it. The other way, Ethan! Go the other way! Ethan, you're going the wrong way! You fool! Oh. Ethan! Ow! Oh, 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 I was thinking we were going to jump on it. Oh. Brain was definitely not big enough for that moment. Ow. What are we doing up here? Is this just a nice view? Shit. Duh. Seriously, what? Is this a door? Is that a door? 
This is not Uncharted. We are missing. Oh my God. There we go. Cool. Disneyland. Disneyland. Cool. Okay. 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 All right. Wait, we need to go back down here. So this gate was back. Now. What? Wait a minute, but I can't make this one dark. Do I have to overload it or something? Oh, I get it. I have to like... Or not? Oh! Oh! It! Okay. Got it. Alright. Got it. Shut up, Duke! Doing shit! Is that... Right? Uh... No. Brain... Brain hurts. Actually, this is actually tough for me. Holy shit! Uh... Okay. That's a hard thing for me to visualize for some reason. Yeah, like, just, just twist it. Just put it in the other direction. For some reason, my I'm, like, having trouble twisting it in my head. Okay, Duke, you're barfing over here. You want me to save it? You wish to make a purchase? Sure. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Give me that. <laughs> to think I would buy such things. Damn, everything is just stocked up. Thousand dollars per bullet. I just don't know about that. You let me know if you okay. find anything else of value. Steve's Pantalonis, thanks for the uh, gift sub, dude. Alright, pull the cronk. Got it. Awesome. Holy shit. So fucking cool. So fucking cool.
Mother Miranda brought me five people from the village, just like I asked. I made them sleep with some liquid, and then I put... Caddo in their tummies. I'm looking forward to the caddo to grow in their tummies. On a cloudy day, four of the people from the village are dead this morning. One is almost a lichen. I sent it to my lab on the mountain. <clears throat> I failed again. Mother was once strong vessels, but I cannot get any. I will need more people from the village. I guess the caddo is the barf, right? Oh, cat opens gift. That's cool. Damn. This pipe. Uh oh. They're getting prepared. Uh. Stings. Nice roll. Show me, show me the, the dude on the inside. The PC cannot handle this. Capcom, why? Capcom, why? Okay. That's the FPS drop move. I'm gonna probably, uh, shoot the shit out of him next time when it comes to him preparing his next move. Just not let him do that. I guess I gotta do this. Oh, this is open now. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> 
Convenient. Wait, that's not the... Whoops. I just have to find something to get under, right? If I know that he is going to do the spit. I gotta find cover. I'm like, maybe I can shoot him out of it? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's use the barrels this whole time, right? Barrels seem pretty effective. Wonderful combat ability, Ethan. Did he... Did he really lose me? Shit. Interesting. If we're gonna have any more things, we have to block.
dude's got some health on him. So if we can make some more of these explosivos. What the fuck? 90 degree turn? Blocking was no good. Uh-oh. Give me all the mines. Uh, let's equip the mines. We're fine. Can you not go through your own gloop? Ah, oh, shit. That really hurts. That really fucking hurts. God damn, man. God damn. Um, yeah. Yeah, he touches you in hardcore and you just immediately, you just immediately go down. Okay. Jesus Christ. Definitely have a strategy, but I'm gonna try something different on this time.
Okay. A couple of those extra shots in there. this up while I still can. Took a long time. of explosives for you to ignore, sir. There's a lot of explosives for you to just fucking ignore. Do you have any more mines? Uh... I don't. I have three of these left, though. Yeah, let's see if we can just make one. Another damn mine. Jesus, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's actually hitting me. Sucks. Oh, Jesus, man. Big fish boy. That was a fun fight. Whew. And 
That was a legit super fun fight. Disgusting. Yeah, that was great. Holy shit. So there's nothing else I missed in here. In a uh, loot land. Okay. The exit's up ahead. Mother Miranda gave me a rose jar. No one likes me, which is why I thought they would leave me out again. But Heisenberg said that was why we each get a rose. The ceremony cannot happen with us all there. Uh, without us all there. Mother didn't seem to care, though. Mother said rose is a vessel. With a vessel, Mother can get her real child back. Even though she has been dead for a long time. But if Mother does then, what will happen to me? I'm not her child. Will she abandon me? I don't want that. No, 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 no. Are we saying this motherfucker is Vigo the Carpathian? Who? And I'm trying to, I think of a good scene where Vigo, can they describe what the fuck Vigo is? Who's Vigo the Carpathian? There's one scene where Egon is like describing it. Yeah, the scene where Ray describes how he dies. He was shot, stabbed, hung, maimed, <laughs> like, all this, like, terrible shit that happened to him. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, I'm actually not sure. I'm not sure where, uh... I can't even find that. Is that it, Bojack? Ouch. Uh, that was a, that was a clip of a dude watching his television. <laughs> Of a dude, like, recording himself watching his own TV. Anyway. You have the four-winged key now. You're better off than I thought. Who's that? Oh, come on. We just met a while back. Not that it really matters. <laughs> You're the last asshole in my way, aren't you? You've got fight. I'll give you that, Ethan. But what's the plan when you have all four flasks? What are you trying to get at? I could lend you a hand. Not trying to get on my good side? I don't get cocky. I'd kill you if you weren't worth the trouble. There's a stronghold not too far outside the village. Go there and get my flask. Do that and you pass. First, head back to the graveyard. 
Self-centered prick. Is that alive? Okay, all right, creepy fucking... Very similar to like Las Plagas, right? Already very similar. This like, deity type guy comes down and brings you their gift, right? Same way Sadler did. What strain of virus was Las Plagas? It wasn't. Las Plagas was this... was completely separate than the events of Raccoon City, of Umbrella, and all that shit. Las Plagas was this ancient... um... virus, parasite thing. Uh, that was unearthed. And... used by... uh, Sadler to manipulate and control people. It was not a- it was not a typical, you know... A parasitic arthropod, yeah, like, uh, kind of, kind of like a face hugger, chat. Like, that's what that's what they really were. They were just fucking face huggers. I don't know where to get this. Moreau's hidden weapon. Oh, wait, I do. That's back. Where? Boat was. It's back where the boat was. If I can remember how to get there. Pretty sure this is going to be all completely locked off. Yeah. Uh, if the water drained, I'm going to figure out the other way to go. Mr. Classy, thanks for the five gift subs, dude. Holy shit. Whoa there, buckaroo. Thanks for the hundred bucks, man. This is from like a 20 minutes ago. Take my goddamn money, you beautiful man. A bit of fan since. I don't know how long. Um, I was a child. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know how it, long it's been now. I was a child and now I'm a young adult. That's a big fish. Put this man in the river, monsters. Keep on shining, brother. Yo, holy shit, Buckaroo. Thank you very much, man. That's insanely nice of you, dude. Fuck. 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 Thank you, dude. It's the elevator. Well, there's not many other ways we can go. Right? That might not have been it. Elevator, go up. Yeah, boat was like the left side of the map or some shit? We saw the chest at the very beginning. Not much for us up here. Going back down. No way. That's good enough for me.
Maybe there is no way to get back up there from here. It would be pretty obvious. The exit's up ahead. Damn, explosive rounds in a barrel? Shit. Is that alive? Okay. Uh that in there. Yeah, my, my concern is that the area would be locked, like I wouldn't be able to go back there. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get back to the boat. This way. This dungeon always confuses the shit out of me. There we go. What? My precious loot! Damn, this is all technically optional. Holy shit. Nice. This is missable. Silver Angel statue! That wasn't what I was expecting. Is there any fish in here? Then this is where I would put a rare fish. Mike St. Jules, thanks for the prime. Well, it's not his weapon. Right? It's not his weapon. But, there is a fishing spot. Somewhere over here. Really? Was that it? It says there's a fish in here. What the fuck? I was just saying that. I'm like, this is where I would put a rare fish. Oh my god. What the fuck? Holy shit, it had life. It's so hard to see this damn thing. Big ass catfish. Dunzo. Okay, cool. Neat. There's some rare fishies. Glad we came back here. Goat? You hear a goat? What? 
What? Damn. If I didn't find that goat, the chat would have never have found it. They would never have even seen it. It's crazy I discovered it entirely on my own. The goat. Now we can go back up. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. All this dude's goopy shit is gone now, so... Does that mean... See his treasure through here? No, this is the same room. Okay, okay, okay. Cute. Yo, Zeno Craig Moore, thanks again, dude. Why is the box not crossed out? I don't know. He's crossed out, he's dead. But I don't know. I'm trying to decipher if this chest is actually reachable or not. I don't know. And before I go up, you know, I'm just trying to exhaust every single fucking option. Because you do get locked out of here. Definitely not down here. Yeah, it could be around the overworld. Maybe the upper part of the map. I don't know. Only two floors to here. Either way. I'm glad we went back because we got the rare fish and we got the, uh, uh, the rare sellable. Okay. And the goat. Yeah, and the goat. This thing takes way too damn long. Oh, the time of the day is changing. That's kind of cool. all taking place in one day? Yeah, pretty much. It looks like we're actually going to hook around and go get it right now. Shit, I didn't even see these damn birds. It was so dark. take that back down to uh, Dating.
Whoa. In stereo. Dude, I am holding this fucking fire button down and nothing is happening. There we go. I click the button, nothing happens. It's like when you need it to shoot, sometimes it just doesn't shoot. There'll be more shit in here. 25 bullets, god damn. God damn. I don't understand at all that could have missed. Damn buff. Holy shit. I did a lot. Just a wing worth like 1200 bucks. Mother Miranda gave me a mountain. Now I can do lots and lots of Caddo experiments. This is my secret special lab. I did three Caddo experiments today, but they all went pop and made a mess. I put in the Caddo and then I tried putting wolf blood from a needle into the spine. The person wriggled a lot and then killed my assistant. I could not hold it down, so I put it in a cage. Now I have to feed it. Where is this cage? Is that the big oh boy oh boy i think that's the big guy big dog he's gonna be right outside isn't he fucking knew it i knew it God gave me this gun for a reason. <laughs> Holy mother of God. No healing. Dude, I can't even... So, one thing that bugs me, I will say, it bugs me that if you go into the menu, you, you stop moving. You, your character, uh, even though you're running, you go into the menu, you're like, craft this item, let's use it. Your character will just stop running and completely be, com like, absolutely stationary. Like, he's actually looking inside of a... Attaché case, right? Ah, so if you're trying to run away in a situation like that, you're just fucked. Damn it. Shit old Yeah, this menu, for example, he stops. Like, I'm gonna keep him in a full run. 
Ungo, ungo out of the menu, and I'm holding forward, but he stops. That's the fear kicking in. Bang, bang, bang. Find my ass to go up here and get whatever the hell this was. The mermaid ball. Probably go back down and save after I kill all these guys so we can see if we can kill this, uh... This big goat thing. actually take more shots than the usual lichens. So if I go in there, I trigger uh, the next cutscene. What's down here? Yeah, you lose momentum when you pause. Holding forward. You lose all your momentum. It's a little weird. It's like a it's like a full stop. Flashbang. Seems like maybe I should the game is telling me to flashbang the hound. And then, uh, get some damage? Possibly. We kill Lady D? No, we kept her alive. I'm gonna go save really fast. Okay. Yeah, I'd imagine you just... This game goes by super quick if you're not playing on hardcore, if you play it on normal. Because at least things like put up a challenge, like you actually do die to... enemies and shit. You have to come back and reevaluate a situation and then approach it a different way, you know, stuff like that. I hear people like beat it in just like a session. It's like, whoa, fuck. Really? Some parts of hardcore are definitely annoying, uh, for sure. But. Look at all this crazy shit. Okay. Well, okay then. Yeah. It's like two healing.
It's a couple of like big clues for this fight, and it's the fact that you get the um you get the Magnum here, and you get the other rounds for this. Or we can just magnum his ass twice in the fucking face. Get out of here, pooch. Give me this crystal beast. All right. Well, that was fun. A little bit of an optional thing we could do there. That was fun. Prey slaughtered. <laughs> now I am the crystal beast. Magnum was called Wolfsbane. Very true. You sneezed and it's dead. Yes, yeah, so it took two shots to the face with a Magnum and then it died. Cute. Right, but is there any place I can visit? There's a chicken mechanical door over here. Some shit like that. This way, Papa. Man. Oh, man. Uh. Damn. Mechanical door. Does the gun have a special property like silver bullets? Revolver that uses magnum rounds, incredible firepower, and piercing ability said to be effective against werewolves. Well... I mean, not exactly, but it's, it's good against werewolves. Nice. Chicken town. Land of the chickens. Yep, I can upgrade it, and guess what I'm going to spend all my money on? Oh, I lost my music. Fucking dude, fucking chickens. <laughs> the chicken death animation. So where in the hell is this gonna go? Yeah, it's the cleanest bathroom in the entire damn game. Huh? The shit? Oh. Oh. Pigeon blood. Combinable with. Nice. One more thing to sell on that. Okay. We're gonna go back to this uh, water wheel area anyway, and uh, see if we can get whatever the hell is in here. What? There it is. Jesus.
And do we have anything left to investigate around this area? Uh, pretty much Louisa's house, right? Louisa's heirloom. And granted, he, he wants us to. He wants us to go to the graveyard. I'm trying to see if like what ju what just happened was we could have easily had skipped uh, a few treasures and a few fish. So at this point, I'm kind of like thinking. This is also here, too. Riverbank Treasure House. I'll have to check on that again. <laughs> Fuck, you goat. Fucking goat. Fucking goat. I well, fucking didn't expect him to get blasted today. Fucking god. Okay, chat. Give me a second. I will be right back. And, uh, we're gonna continue forth. Game is very fun at this point. It's really enjoyable. Uh, I'll BRB. Uh, okay, we good? We good. We're good. I have to really make sure that I have this one primed at like the perfect moment. Where it's like... What kind of company would turn a weird fish man into seemingly a simp for his mom for some reason in their Resident Evil game? Who the hell would do that? Capcom. That's right. That's right. What? What? Damn, this looks great. Damn, this looks great. In the graveyard. I mean, is this not the graveyard? This is a different graveyard? This is a tomb? Huh? I do love it that the, um, that the zones go from this completely different time of day. He said meet him in the graveyard, but I think he was talking about this. Yeah. Makes me kind of curious, like... About this shit over here. Maybe it's later. You know what? I enjoy exploring this game, so that's what we spent most of our time doing, is exploring the map, and it's a very pretty time of the map right now. I'd hate for this just to end so abruptly. Ah, fuck. I have one bullet. I 
No, that's not just a wolf. That's like an Omega super pissed off wolf. That one has like spears in it and shit. What? I need to go find... Uh... I, I, I need to go. I need to... Wait, there's several things I can do here. Hold on a second. I can go back and use the crank as well. This is open too? Oh, shit, dude. This just opened up? Okay, okay, okay. There is like... Side quest heaven that just opened up right now. Maybe we have to return the slab. You gotta talk to... Ah, oh, my apologies. Twenty grand for killing that monster. Forty grand for that one. Just make this a cool seventy-three thousand dollars. I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. A pipe bomb. And not. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications. Uh -huh. I will do them for a small fee. I'm sure you are. So, let's talk the Magnum. And let's talk the fact that our shotgun and our pistol have increased in stat modifiers, too. Huh. Aha! 960? 120 damage increase? Uh. Do we need two shotguns? I mean, touche. I guess we could sell the old shotgun. Mag Magnum definitely does work. I think I'm gonna sell the old pistol. I'm missing one more improvement on the shotgun, though. You know what? Here. Let's see... how this is working out. So the Lemmy I can sell for 23 grand. What will happen to the ammo and the old guns though? Okay, got okay, so here's the new plan. Thank you for your patronage. Uh-huh. Here's the new plan. We are going to go back to the area that we have to return the slab. And we're going to expel the ammo and not reload. Now. Here's the problem. Is I habitually reload at all given times. Habitually. The attachments are just for uh, the weapons they're for. Can't use one attachment on a different gun. It wouldn't just give back the ammo? I don't think so. Oh my. This is interesting. This has suddenly become... Loot land. What the hell? Am I glad we came back here? Hang on a sec. Let's do this too. Where's the Lemmy? Okay. Don't reload. I want to reload so bad right now. I want to reload so bad. Okay. I blame years of playing Call of Duty. COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Where you only had like 30 buttons in a magazine or something. 30 bullets, not buttons.
It's kind of nice to come back here and see uh, the area in a completely different light, literally. Mystery goat? This looks great. You know what, I wonder what it's like with RTX on, but at the same time... Uh, RTX in this game is very wonky. <laughs> Fucking goat, man! I almost reloaded. You have to be fucking shitting me. Squeeze me? Can't turn around. What the hell? That was really weird. My block is very good, by the way. Enemies just dropped down here? Holy shit. What the fuck?
What have I gotten myself into? Holy mother of God. didn't actually hurt me. That hurt me. Oh my god, why am I not healing? Hell yes. <laughs> Giant crystal axe. What in the fuck, dude? That was crazy. Baron Gario's Chalice. Not combinable. Very valuable. The Chalice Dungeon? This better be worth it. Sweet Jesus, man. I was not expecting that to be there. Giant axe is combinable? No. No, it's not. Just very valuable, it says. Holy shit. I was not expecting that shit. Oops, sorry. Sensitive trigger. This never this never says like if there's things missing. I think we got everything. I think we did. You better be so impressed by this duke. If it's just looking, window shop away. You better be so impressed by this shit. 30 grand? Oh. 
Only 18 grand? Hmm. I was expecting more. Ah! Huh. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. Okay. This is all an investment, Ethan. I'm about to start buying bullets and shit, dude. Um... I got 20 shotgun rounds. 15 sniper rifle rounds. <laughs> Definitely could use that. Pay me no, no wait, that's his stock. No, that's Please that's what again. he has. Yeah, now we can actually sell oh, our guns. Good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. Food is life. Okay. Dropping the Lemmy. And dropping the M1897. Worry not. You can buy it back if you like. Okay. See if we got anything to make in the kitchen. Damn, we can definitely do a huge health increase. We can even do that. But we can't do that. Let's do the health greatly increases. Ah. Thank you. I can hardly wait. Just excuse me a moment. There we go. Food is life. Apologies for the wait. Here's your share. To think such a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. You can get that one too. Um and it doesn't take fish or finest fish. Well, why not? Carry on. Thank you. Now to cook. Seems like there's like so hunting in this game is essentially like just more loot, right? It's not you can't really go hunting enemies. There are just enemies around that is similar to uh that is that is similar to just finding items and treasures and shit. Not a bad dish. And this finest fish we haven't come across yet. To hunger. Yeah, if you want to get all the upgrades, you have to find the exact animals, you know? Hunting is just exploring. They're back here now. Got it. I'm gonna buy, uh... Three pipe bombs. And two of these. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Aha. Reload speed on this doesn't seem like it's a problem to me, but it's so cheap. I don't have much else to spend this money on, you know? You get bonuses for max upgrading a weapon? What? Let's find out. Ah, it's fine. All finished. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, no. and we'll do them for a small fee. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Till next we meet. It's probably not maxed out just yet, you know? Probably not just yet. Andre, thanks for the 25 months. Cool. Well, that was a lot of fun. Oh, I can drop that meat in there. I don't need to keep it on me anymore. There's only one more upgrade. In terms of, like, the fish upgrade. Yeah. I can just let, let you give ah, you this. Yes, I don't have yes. any more, like, things to hang on to. 
So I gotta find four more fish and uh, four more, one more finest fish. Cool. It's sure to be a good meal. Cool. Um. Yeah. Well, that was definitely something, man. Holy shit. Can I make another one? No, I'm all out of crafting, too. Wow. That was nuts. Um. Then here's the crazy part. There's another one. There's actually another one. Shall I choose something for you? <laughs> Till next we Damn, are we all out of grenade launcher stuff? We are. Now we're on everything. Except that. Okay. Oh, save? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Save all these little things. So we get prepared for war. So this is going to be for science. We're going to go see what this... Uh, absolute... Beast is out here. Maybe I can lure it out of the wilderness. Or maybe I can actually just sneak past him. Who knows? So. Come out here now. Keep moving. Ah! Holy fucking shit. Oh my god, it might be the, the father. No shit, I think that's... the dad from earlier in the game.
dude's got some life. This dude has some life on him. Jesus Christ! We're gonna have- I think we're gonna have to come back to this guy when we either have more damage or better upgraded guns or something, right? He took almost every- he took every explosive. I need more wolf's bane ammo. Yeah, I don't have that much magnum ammo in general. We'll just we'll just wait on that, right? We'll just we'll just wait on that shit. Holy hell, dude! I was probably close. He was he would he looked very badly damaged, but I don't mind saving that for later. Mm. The mermaid ball puzzle. Shit. The mermaid ball puzzle. Oh my god. Where in the hell was that? Back down here? Labyrinth puzzle. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go do it. We gotta go do it. It'll be worth essentially just some money. Wait, I actually wanted to check up here. This bridge has come down yet. It has not. There's no more fish in the pond. Yeah, damn, and we have the crank down below too. Fuck! Okay, okay, okay. All the way back down here. Now was the mermaid ball? Behind all of it? There it is. There we go. Oh god. Holy shit. So engaged. Yay, there's confetti. Shot Harry's skull? Shot Harry? Okay. It's a Zelda puzzle. Yeah, and there's one other area I want to check. Back towards the start of the, uh, before you get into the village. They're from... Back here. Some shit. 
I don't know. Just keep running. Let's go sell this right now. Yo, Zeno Craig Morph, thanks again, man. Naturally. Please do take a look at my new stock. Twenty grand for that. Burr. Now to spend like kings. <laughs> I'll hold on to it for now. A good deal, if I say so myself. Yo, kind of funny games. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the raid, guys. Appreciate it. Assuming y'all were uh, playing RE8. I imagine I'm behind because I'm spending all this time doing this extra dank shit. I think this is the way we need to go. Yeah, this is the bridge. Is it? Is it? Which way do we go to get back to... That funkin... Hmm. Hmm. It's actually back where the Duke is, you're right. I don't know where the hell to find this thing on the map, but if I just go to where the Duke is and I hang a right up here, I think it's here. Or I just go straight. Yeah, this is it. Jesus. Brain no worky. Crank time. What sweet treasures await us? An herb. That's actually kind of good. What? There's another boat? Holy shit. Another boat? This is kind of sick. <gasps> oh my god, we're gonna be able to go back to Castle Demetresque. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. What? That makes sense. Okay. This could possibly take us to the finest fish. Yo, beans. Here for the six months. For six months in advance? Holy shit, Beans. Thank you, dude. What the hell? Thank you for the raw six months. At least that's where I think we're at. No. It's not. We're in some weird place. Maybe that'll be the other way? Where the fuck are we going? Where? Oh, we're back here. Okay. This is right outside of the place where Lady D was, and there would have been no way to get to this thing without this. That's not what I want. What's in here? Magna memo? What the fuck? What the... What the... Huh? Adventure? Where? Here 
free lockpick. This looks interesting. Maybe this is where we're supposed to go. Maybe? Oh. Um. Cook crash. Too much random loot lying on the ground and shit. Damn, did I just do that? Shit, I guess I did. Large pigeon. Uh-oh, we did it. Well, we did it. We finally found it. We finally collected this whole friggin' necklace. Demetriscu's necklace. Lady D's necklace. Some magnum ammo sitting under this shit. That's good. Hi, how's it going? Is this stuff yours? Damn, was that really it to this place? Oh, fuck. Please don't fall on my head. I'd really appreciate it. Damn it, did I miss something? The room is still red. The room is still red. Is there shotgun ammo up there? Is that what I fucked up on? Oh. Man. Anyway, whatever. Can't go back up now. Yo, Fox a million, thanks for the prime. Servities, thanks again for the 10 gift subs, dude. Well, that was interesting. That's for sure. Now, can we even go back in here? No. Can we even go back here? No. <laughs> Shit. What? Could we even go in? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're on the way. Oh, shit. Is this, uh, is this all a side quest? Okay, hang on a sec. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go back down the river first before I do this. This is great. This is super cool. I'm going to check out the other end of the river.
thought I saw something that could be shot out of this, but then I realized I couldn't shoot it anyway. Where the hell are we? Huh. Cool. Completely unknown land. Okay, so there's a big hole there. <gasps> fish zone. Oh, land of the fish. The golden fish. Come here, you son of a bitch fish. Who would possibly put some of the most enjoyable content in their big AAA game into a side quest? Cool. I got the final upgrade. Or I'm gonna have the final upgrade. This is spooky. Holy shit. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh, hell yeah. DNA sequence complete. 99.95% .95 match to Dolvi Mutamycite. That's like some Resident Evil 7 word, right? The deviation of 0.05% can presumably be attributed to artificial changes by humans, which means this is probably the source. Oh, so this is Chris Redfield's team. Further investigation into how the connections managed to find and extract the mold is needed. How the connections. The fungal colony is spread out under the entire village. When you take the Baker incident into account, the hosts of the Mutamycite are part of a network consciousness. If that network is linked to here, then we could assume this organism organism here is data storage. If that's the case, then what data is Miranda after? Interesting. So this is directly, everything that's happening here is directly connected. The molded are directly, the mutamycite, whatever the heck it is, is directly connected to how the molded communicate, how Eve communicated with the molded, all that kind of stuff. Cool. Very cool. Holy fucking shit. See you guys later. Yeah, and it's like a plant-like creature, right? It's like actually growing under the ground. It's in the roots. My eyes. Okay, well that was sick. Glad we came down here. This could be the place where it all technically started. Yeah. Because the bakers 
what happened in Louisiana with the Bakers happened because there was the crash of the boat where they were doing experiments with this shit. This could be... This place in Europe could be the origin, right? Is Eve Mother Miranda's daughter? Well, on the specimens, it says Eve. So, I think it's a very high likelihood that they're using Rose to resurrect Eve. To me, that makes sense. Because if we go back and you look at... Eve number three. 100%. Yeah, that's that's absolutely what's going on. Um, mother Miranda is the, the actual mother of Eve. And Rose... Oh, shit. Rose was born from... Uh, oh, God, what's her name again? Mia. Rose was born from Mia, and Mia is, uh, had been manipulated by the molded and survived. So that's why Rose carries, she's networked, right? Rose is technically in network with Metamucite, or the molded. She's connected. And Ethan was also infected by the mold, so, yeah, there's a lot of Interesting. That's actually a super interesting story. Cool. Super cool. Seeing where this is going. We don't know what Chris is trying to do. We don't know. I'm gonna leave that one up to... to chance. Or to, uh, let we'll the game figure that out. I love these puzzles so much. I love them so much. Oh my god. That one got solved way quicker. Hell yeah. The zombie's gonna... Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Out of that zombie hole? Damn. Loot room! Again? Put your broadsword down. Oh! You can light an enemy on fire and it gives you an achievement. That's cool. Ah, oh, shit. Wait. The puzzle. Puzzle. The Zelda puzzle. You're gonna make it, buddy! You're gonna make it! Come on, you shithead! That is the best puzzle ever. That was actually a very fun puzzle. Damn. All the puzzles in this game have mostly sucked major ass. That was actually kind of a dope puzzle. You, you, it was pretty... Like, it's not that the puzzle was hard. It's the fact that, oh, the solution to it is kind of awesome. <laughs> Damn, golden lady statue? Hell. Give me that shit. I'm the loot hunter. Damn, this guy and his buttocks are about to stab everybody. One magnum ammo. Oh, good. One singular magnum ammo. Oh, well, we did it. 
Collected all the loot. That was uh, the Riverbank Treasure House. This was um, Lady D's big old treasure room. These are very fun, right? This shit's very fun. Super enjoyable. Great side quests. This game got so much better. Just so much better after the first, like, quarter. First-ish. Uh, I think, I think it's actually really good now. I actually like it a lot. To me, it's like the beginning was a bit too much like RE4 in many ways. Just, it came across like RE4, but not as good. I, I hate to say it. Um, but that first, that first quarter of the game feels like, okay, the game's trying to be RE4 and is doing a lot of RE4-isms, it's, but it's not as fun. Uh, and that's where it's, like, kind of, kind of losing me. Uh, and I'm trying to, like, boil it down to, like, boilerplate levels. Um, it just wasn't as fun. And then the... All the other Resident Evil 7 stuff, right, the stuff that made Resident Evil 7 really good, really started rearing its head after the castle really started kicking in and that's when it got so much better between like bosses and enemies and locations and everything like that I, th I think it just got so much better yeah I, I mean I think a lot of people are saying the same thing but yes yeah, Squirrel Zod you're saying playing, playing after a hunt on hardcore the game gets way better after the first bullshit survival encounter and what happens after that is just way is really good I actually think the difficulty is perfect, too. Like, the, the difficulty that we're on right now is perfect. Feels good, you know? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Was there a... There was a box somewhere over here that I could not unlock. Oh my god, that's Louisa's key. I don't know how I just... That's where that key goes? Wait. It seemed like that was going to go to a different room. Weird. That's a huge hat. So, let's take some bets. If this thing sells for... a hundred thousand... I'll put in, uh, 20 gift subs. If this thing sells for over a hundred thousand, I'll put in 20 gift subs. But it's taken the whole game to get this, and we've, so we've, we've sold some items for uh, a shit ton of money. Too much? I mean, that's- it's a big bet. 50k? 70,000? Taking like the whole game so far to get this thing. Hope it's at least over 50. As you wish. Fifty thousand. Well, I mean, you probably already knew, chat. You probably saw the people do it, cheating bastards. Um, I'm making a lot of money here. Intricately designed coin. Looks like one from the Baker House. That's actually kind of sick. You know what? Before I before this I do any of this, I want to check. I want to check that yeah. out. Oh, it's just a store. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. All right. Ah. Give me ninety-seven thousand dollars. Food is life. Ah, thank you. Damn, I need two more fish to get the final upgrade. And I might be able to afford all of this now, right? Like all of this Leave shit. This to me. Did 
Delighted to. Well, there we go. I'm pretty sure more upgrades are going to be down the line, but we have almost all the rifle attachments. We have no attachments for the Magnum. Those are going to be around here somewhere. I'm going to wait. Pay me no mind. We have 59 okay. bullets. Hey, then. We have uh, uh, 20 shotgun rounds. We have 20 sniper rounds. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Um, okay. Cool. Let's... Should we finally go to the Heisenberg's area and see what's going on? Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, save this piece. Oof, that was fun. Oh, we gotta go test wolf time. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should, right? I think we should. Um, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna save the last part of... Uh, Heisenberg for tomorrow's stream. But we should try to kill this wolf. We can see if we can at least take it out. I can't make magnum ammo yet. But what I have to do is this. I have to stun him. Where are you at? Hear your ass. I don't see him yet. That's the wrong gun. It's the wrong fucking gun. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine. Wrong gun again. It's not dead. It is not dead. It is not dead. I'm about to die though. This is a good idea. Did you take out all the mines at once? You shithead? What the fuck? My mines. Sweet Jesus, dude. Crystal Ancient Beast. To be honest, I didn't end up using that much ammo. Just all my werewolf ammo. Right? It wasn't that bad. I did use all the fucking mines at once. Did use all the damn mines. What were you protecting, though? Right? Is it this room? 
It's not this heirloom because we already got it. It did work. That is true. Every mine available and it worked. Yeah, I think that was the father. I think that's... That makes sense to me. He had like... Silver hair like the dad did. I think it was just a mini boss. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was there for... Uh, anything else just to be a mini boss. Crystallized remains of a prehistoric looking creature. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Prehistoric. It was like an ancient beast. Well, that was an interesting optional. Definitely tough. That's for sure. Um. Hmm. Dog ate a five mines, yeah. No, you can't go back to the burned house. But I do want to see what the hell this shit sells for. I know I'll get more magnum ammo and stuff, but... Seeking something in particular. Yo! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! $80,000? Holy shit! Well, that's so far easily the most valuable thing in the whole game. Worth five mines. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, cool. I mean, we're doing pretty well now. Time to save that progress, dude. Holy shit. I guess that was worth three magnum shots because my fucking god. My god.